guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emily and I am currently pregnant. So at the time that I'm filming this video, I think I'm only 10 and a half weeks. So I haven't actually announced yet, but of course by the time this video is up, you will know um, that we are expecting and you'll get to see all the videos of me telling my husband, my family. Um, and so the video that I'm doing today is I'm gonna be testing out some old wives tales with gender. So my husband and I, at the beginning of this week, um, so we decided with this pregnancy that we wanted to do genetic testing to be able to find out the gender of our baby early. Um, and so I did that on Monday, and so they told me it could take up to two weeks to get the results, but I also know people that have got the results in like four days. And so I was like, you know what, if I want to film this video before we actually find out the gender, I should probably do it now. So um, that's what we're going to be doing today. I honestly don't have any like inkling or feeling like it's one way or another um i feel like a lot of people who are pregnant with their second or third or um multiple you know not their first i feel like they're able to compare their pregnancies to their previous ones um be like oh this one's just like when i had my boy and so i feel like it's a boy or the opposite i have nothing so people keep telling me you know, they or they keep asking me like, what do you think? And I, my mind goes to boy, but that's only because my husband is from a family of all boys. And pretty much since we got married, he always jokes around and says how we're only gonna have boys. And so I think he's kind of put in my head that we're only having boys, even though I know he, just saying that is not gonna control it. I genuinely don't know what we're gonna have. We could have girls, we could have boys, I'm a both. I'm just excited. Um, I'm so grateful to be here. This is still such a shock. If you haven't watched the video of when I found out or when I told my husband, you should go watch those because I was truly shocked. Um, yeah, I'm just very grateful though to be expecting this beautiful baby. And yeah, let's get on to some of the wives tales. So I found like so many different websites that all, like some are similar but I feel like it's so different. I've seen people do this before and one person says that one thing means girl where another person does it and it means boy. So I, obviously these are not real ways to test it, but um, I figured it'd be fun to just kind of go through and see what Google says. So the first one is the Chinese gender predictor. Um, this is basically the mother's age at the time of conception and the month of conception. And so for me, that would be, I'm 23, January, boy. So we'll put boys score up here, girls score up here. I don't know how many we're gonna do. I think I'm just gonna do it until I feel done. <laughs> so yeah, um, so one point for boy. So the this one is the feel of your skin. So it says if you feel like you have drier skin, um, it's a boy and if you feel like it, um, if you have more oil in your skin it's a girl my skin has been so dry like unbelievably dry I used to always have oily skin um, back in high school and then I, I did like Accutane and stuff which dried it out but and it could also just be that it's winter time and my skin feels really dry but we're gonna go with dry so that means boy um Let's see, acne. If you do have acne, it's a girl. Um, and if not, it's a boy. I have had a lot of acne. Um, my skin used to be really clean and clear and now it is not. <laughs> Thank goodness for makeup. So that one is a point for a girl. Hair. If your hair is thick and glossy, it's a boy. And if it's dull and limp, um, then it's a girl. This is hard because all of my health stuff that I've gone through, I've lost a ton of hair and I don't know. My hair has just been really weird, but I would definitely say it feels more dull and limp. Like it just feels dry and crusty all the time. And even when I shower, like it just doesn't feel really shiny and clean. So that means it's girl. So point for a girl. Baby's heart rate. This says, girls are known to have faster heartbeats than boys. If it's above 140, it means you're having a girl and lower than 140 is a boy. At our first ultrasound at eight weeks, the heart rate 
was 164. So above 160, 140 means girl. So point for girl. Um, let's see some other ones. Cravings. Sweet versus salty. Salty foods uh, cravings are like to boys and sweets mean girl. I don't feel like I've had any true like cravings yet. Um, except I'm always in the mood for a McDonald's McChicken. Always. Like morning, night, whether I'm feeling like I'm going to puke or not. I always want that. And I would say I, if I do gravitate towards a snack, it usually is like a cracker or something like that. So probably more salty, which means boy. So point for boy. I'm going to do the wedding ring test at the end because I just want to get through these first and then we'll do that after. Sickness. Um, morning sickness. Some say that any nausea at all means girl and others say actual vomiting means girl. Well, only nausea means boy. So I have been really nauseous um, pretty much every day. There have been a few days where I didn't have any nausea and I was really grateful for those days. Um, and I've only thrown up a few times, but I did throw up. Um, and so this says nausea and vomiting means girl. So point for girl. Also, I have no idea what the tally's at right now, but I'll tally it up at the end. <laughs> Let's see, headaches. Um, it says if you experience headaches of any kind, extreme and non, it means a boy and no headaches a girl. I have had quite a few headaches. Um, and I actually have gotten a few migraines, which isn't very typical. Like I will get them, but very, very rarely. And I got two in one week. So I would say boy for sure. Um, sleeping. Naturally falling asleep on the left side means you are carrying a boy and the right side is a girl. Okay, this one is hard because I, right now, I know it's going to have to change once I get farther along in pregnancy, but right now, I always start on my right side immediately, or like after a few minutes, flip to my left, and then I just turn on my back, and then I, that's how I fall asleep. So I don't know if it's one over the other. I'm going to say neither, just because I don't feel like I can give an accurate representation, so... We're not gonna give a point for either. Or I could do half and half because I fall asleep on both, but we're just not gonna do any. Let's see. Um, another one is heartburn. And they say that if you um, have heartburn, it can mean a girl and not means a boy. I don't really know if I've had heartburn. If I have, it's been very, very mild if I even recognized it. But I would say probably not for now, so that would be boy. Um, moody versus mellow. <laughs> if you're feeling more moody than mellow, you might be having a girl. If you're more chilled out, you should be ready for a boy. This is a definite easy girl. <laughs> um, I, I feel really bad for my husband um, and my dog, but I have just been so moody. Like one minute I will be happy and the next I'm just sad and crying and grumpy and I just don't feel like I ever can just like relax and just be happy if it does happen it's very very rare so that's a definite girl um okay let's do the Mayan system so this says um you look at the mother's age and the year of conception um if both are even or both are odd it's a girl if one is even and one is odd it's a boy so let's see I am 20 three and it's year 23 so both are odd which means girl another one um is pregnancy brain it says <laughs> if you are um fairly alert and able to remember things and stay on your feet while pregnant it's a girl if you're feeling tired and clumsy and having difficulty remembering things it's a sign it's a boy that's definite boy <laughs> i have the hardest time remembering things and I'm just so clumsy all the time which is not great I have tripped before not while pregnant thank goodness but um I still just find myself being clumsy and always 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 tired okay so the last one that we're gonna do is the ring test and so with this one I've seen a lot of different ones I've seen people say to do it over your belly do it just like go around each finger and then um, go over your hand and see what it does. So I'm just going to do over the hand because um, a lot of these over the belly say to have someone else do it and I am here by myself so we're just going to do it over the hand. So basically I'll 
go in and out of each finger like this, back and then forth, and then I'll hold it over my hand. And if it goes back and forth like this, it's a boy. And if it ends up going in a circle, then it'll be girl. So we're gonna do this. And so yeah, circle is a girl, uh, side to side is a boy. So, okay. And hold it still. This is back and forth, I would say. I mean, the ring is spinning in circles, but it's going back and forth, which is boy. So um, I will put the totals up here and we'll see which one wins. I genuinely don't know because I was not keeping track of while I was doing this, um, but I am just, yeah. This is the winner. I just added it up. Um, I actually went back through and watched that real clip or watched that clip to see what the total was. And it literally was like, oh, you cannot see this. Um, it was pretty much a tie. Like if I had, I didn't keep track of how many I did. Um, and so I did, 13 and so if I had just stopped at 12 it would have been a tie like it literally almost went like back and forth each time um, And with the last one pushing boy over by one, but I would I would pretty much say this is a tie because It was literally it felt like it was going back and forth. So who knows? I have no idea what I'm gonna have. <laughs> I guess we will just see um, Yeah, now back to what I was saying before. So I am just genuinely curious to see, and I'm just so excited to see what we're gonna have. <sighs> just cause I, I don't know. And I just, I really just want to have a healthy baby. Um, boy or girl, it will be so loved. I already know that this is the first grandbaby on my husband's side. Um, and so we're just so excited. We feel really blessed. Um, and I can't wait to find out what we're having. Basically how it's gonna go down is um, somebody will call me with the results, either the lab that we sent them to or my um, OBGYN's office, and they will call with the results from the testing. And when I first got the kit, they told me if we don't wanna know the gender, we can just let them know and they will have it on a piece of paper that I can go pick up from the hospital. Um, but that's also 30 minutes away, so I might just see if if my husband is here, then we will just find out together and I will try my hardest to grab a camera and record our reactions. Um, but if he's not here, I'm gonna see if they can maybe just call back and leave a message with the gender so that my husband and I can find out together. Cause this is our first baby and we wanna find out, you know, we're not gonna find out at an ultrasound together at 20 weeks like most people do. And so I still wanna find out together. So hopefully, fingers crossed, it works. We can still find out together. Um, I mean, if I were to find out before him, that I guess would still be fine and maybe I'd find a cute way to surprise him, but hopefully we can just find out together. Um, and that's honestly probably the next video you're gonna see is finding out what we're gonna have. So, or at least our reactions, because um, I think by the time we announce, we'll already know the gender. And so we may just share that as well, but I'm just so excited and Make sure you subscribe so that you can stay along on this journey as this is our first pregnancy. There's a lot of things to navigate. Um, hopefully I won't have any issues with my Crohn's. Right now I'm really healthy. I, I really am doing so good. My tests all came back great. I really couldn't be in a better spot to be pregnant. And so I just feel so blessed. Um, but yeah, I'll just take you guys along on this crazy journey. It just still doesn't feel real that this is happening to me, but I'm so grateful and so excited. And so I will see you in the next video.